Is your fire stick slow? Are your apps not working the way they should? Have you tried watching a movie not only to have it at the last 20 minutes start freezing and buffering? I'm going to show you five ways how to speed up your fire stick and get it running at an optimal level. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, I just want to remind you that we are giving away a Z10 Air Mouse, which I find to be one of the best on the market right now. You need to look at this video here. It's going to tell you how to enter. I'll put a link in the description so you know which one to go to, along with any other giveaways we're having. We're not just giving away the Air Mouse. It's also coming with a OTG cable. Also, we're going to go ahead and send one of these. It is a adapter. USB adapter. It's uh, really a cool little item. We're giving all three of these one drive. So please hit that up. You'll like it for your chance of winning. Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you a reminder that we're giving away Fire Stick 4Ks and Fire Stick lights. All you have to do is check this video right here. I have the link in the description for you. Check out our other giveaways too. Hey everybody, welcome back. And remember, enter those drawings. Those giveaways are fantastic and you can win stuff. And it's free, even free shipping. Enter those after you see this video. Okay, I get a lot of emails on a lot of viewers asking about why their Fire Stick does these things. And is there any way that I can help them out? Sure there are. We're going to go over five different things that are going to help you out and getting your Fire Stick running at the optimal level. It is a Fire Stick. It is a very good streaming device, but it is limited. It isn't like the high-end boxes that will you know, cash a lot. It'll that do a lot of things that high-end boxes are supposed to do. So let's take a look at this and we'll go over and get this sucker solved for you. Okay, first let's go ahead and grab a couple of apps that are going to help you overall. Now at the top, scroll over to the apps, navigate to the categories. This will give you a list of all the app categories that you may want to go through and check out, but that's for another video. Scroll down to utilities where we're going to install background and Liddy and Surfshark. Now, why does Surfshark help speed up your Fire Stick? Because of the speeds of their servers, relaying your streaming at two to three times faster than you would normally get without a VPN. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the background app. And what this is going to do is it's going to tell you all the things that are open, all the apps in the background and so forth. You can click on either close all apps or you can go down and choose whichever app you want to close. Um, let's do this one real quick. What you want to do is go ahead and force stop. And then you're all set. Let's go ahead and go back. And you see it's gone now. So it's just a great way to uh, stop all the apps that are actually running in the background. And this app is great for that. Now you can, if you close, do a close all apps, it's going to just open up each one of those so you can force close each one. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up Analyti. Go ahead and click on it. You want to go ahead and click on download. And let's let it download. Then, then let's let it install. Let's go ahead and get it open. Once you click on Analyti, it's going to run through a diagnostics test and tell you exactly what your internet's doing. As it runs through its test, you can actually see that uh, I'm running on the uh, actual 4G network and we're getting 88 down, 6 up, which it shows over here. You can run almost anything on that. So we're good there. Okay, let's go ahead and grab Surfshark. We'll click there. Go ahead and click on download. Okay, let's go ahead and let it install. And we can go ahead and open it. Okay, now with Surfshark, let's go ahead and click on it. Now you can use other VPN services. This one I recommend because it's, it's this is for best bang for your buck. Uh, it works on, it's available for all your devices free. So you have one account, all your devices are taken care of. What I like to do is you go down here and you go ahead and just click on fastest server. Then it connects up and you're ready to go. 
Okay, let's go on to the next. Okay, next, let's go ahead and go to the network and check the signal. Now, you can also do a direct connect from your router, uh, you know, to get you a little bit better signal. You can, you can get an OTG cable, an adapter hub, to have a direct plug. But to be honest, the Wi-Fi component in the Fire Stick is really very good. But just in case you need, go ahead and take a look at this video. Next, we need to go to the Applications and open up Manage Applications. Go through it and get rid of the apps you no longer need. You know, you don't use them, don't have them. Now, you can do a force stop on it and clear the cache and data and then un uninstall. Now, go ahead and do this for all the ones that you don't need anymore uh, that really, if you haven't watched them in a oh, while, wow, why have them? Hey, next I'm going to show you one of the biggest culprits of slowing down your fire stick. But first, do me a favor and subscribe if you're not subscribed. It's a great thing to do. Everybody's doing it. All the cool kids. Anyways, and hit the bell notification. It will let you know when another video comes out or a winning video that you might have won something. So do that, but please, thumbs up this video. I appreciate it so much. It does help with the channel. It doesn't cost you nothing, but it means a great deal to me and my channel. I'd appreciate it so much. Okay, here's one of the biggest slowdowns. Let's go to the preferences. There are a few here, such as privacy settings, turn them off. Click back once and choose data monitoring. Click off. Go back once. Go to notifications and turn on. Do not interrupt. Click back again and choose featured content. This is a big banner on top of your homepage. That when you scroll to it, it'll play a trailer. Be sure to click these to off. Next, let's go to My Fire TV. Now, let's go ahead and click on About. Let's be sure that you have the latest update. Now, I want you to do this at least once a week, depending on usage. Okay, the next thing I need you to do once a week is to do a hard reboot with your remote control by pressing and holding the select and fast forward buttons at the same time until the powering off banner appears. Now, if you're still experiencing buffering, the only thing left to do is go down and reset the factory defaults. This is a last resort but it's one that will clean up your system. Now, I don't like doing factory resets, it's, but it's a pain in the butt. It is something you can do to clean out a lot of junk out of your system. Like I said, it's a last resort thing, but see how that works. But do me a favor, if you would put it in the comments if it helped your buffering and your freezing and so forth, if it sped up that fire stick to what you need, let me know in the community to know how yours worked. I'd appreciate it. And remember, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. I'd appreciate it. And remember, thumbs up. Do all that kind of stuff. It really helps the channel. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So until next time, have a marvelous day and make it a good one. I just want to say thank you for watching the whole video to the end. And I want to appreciate everybody that does that. Uh, if you would, though, if you're not subscribed, hit that little button right here. It will help the channel tremendously. And as always, maybe look at our other videos here and you might get an idea of what you want next on your system. And until next time, I'll see you.